Well, good morning, everyone. Today is September the 11th, and my garden is towards the tail end. I'm praying it'll hang on for a while. We had a cold front go through, and I really held my breath because my tomatoes are just now starting to ripen. I've had a bad year for tomatoes. You'll see a few ripe tomatoes, but mostly it's green. Walk on over here. I dug all my carrots, got them done. My okra, I quit. I just let it go. Um, probably been a month now. And the idea is I'm going to save the seeds. <laughs> I'm going to have enough here for the next 20 years, but once the pods dry, this is still pretty green, but once they dry, they turn black and dry, then you just take the seeds out of there. And um, of course, then I'll have plenty of seeds to share. My butternut squash has grown over with weeds because I was going to let it go. Um, I've had, we had zero zilch, not a we had no bugs this summer, absolutely none. And I was just devastated because, you know, when the bees are gone, you know what they say. Well, the bumblebees showed up about a month ago, and all of a sudden now I've got butternut squash setting on in this weed mess. Let me see. There's a little tiny one there, and every time I come out here, I've got more setting on. Broom corn, we just we need to go ahead and cut it down any time. I've harvested a few pumpkins, but they did the same thing. I didn't get very many, and then the squash beetles came in, ruined them, and then all of a sudden when the bumblebees came in, um, I've got so many pumpkin out there, but of course they're not going to make at this point. But I've got quite a few that I'll be able to harvest later. I gotta show you one sad little thing. This tiny little plant here is my one and only sweet potato plant. And all that green stuff around it, that's bindweed. And bindweed has been choking out everything. Uh, we never had this stuff. And all of a sudden this year, it is just everywhere. I don't know if I'll have any sweet potatoes in there or not. Um, if we do, I'll be, I'll just count my blessings. My cantaloupe, same as everything else, didn't do nothing. Um, and then it just took off like crazy. And I've probably got 20 or 30 cantaloupe in there. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We have harvested a, a few of them. They weren't real good, but they're starting to get better now. And here's... My pepper plants now they have taken off they're doing fantastic they're doing so well the branches are breaking they're still blooming I'm gonna leave these on let them get as big as they can well but they're just so many they're just breaking the branches over my jalapeno plant is Loaded. Over here in this sad little spot is what we're going to do today. These are my pinto beans taken over some, by some lovely um, foxtail grass, weed. And um, I've never done this before. I shut the water off about a month ago here and I'm letting them all dry. Now I'm going to come in and harvest the dry pods and I'm going to see if I can get me some pinto beans. I'm going to go along down in here and harvest the dry pods and get what I can and we'll see what we end up with. Okay, well, now that looks a lot better, doesn't it? I got that all cleaned out. I had planned to leave. Um, there was a bunch of you know, leaves and stuff. I'd planned to leave that through the winter to let it mulch down and I decided to clean it out because <laughs> I'm already going to have enough trouble with uh, volunteer beans coming up. So I'm going to hopefully the chickens will get in there. And... But I got to show you what I've been noticing as I was cleaning out the bean Check bed. out those clusters. And it's all through my tomatoes. 
clusters of huge tomatoes. What I'm gonna do next is go through and I doubt there'll be enough tomatoes to can, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the red ones out and make some more, you guessed it, tomato powder. Hey guys, that's all I got. Two and a half gallon bucket of the dry pods, but now I gotta get the beans out of there. I know your first question is going to be, are you going to do that again, Barb? No, I'm not. <laughs> it wasn't that much work, but I bet when it's all said and done, I don't have enough for a meal. So, you know, when you can buy a pound of dry beans for a dollar, I'll just go that route. I'm going to go in and start getting all the beans off the pods and making sure everything's dry. All right, guys. Well, this is what I ended up with. I did measure them. That's about four cups of beans. I've got a few here that need to dry a little bit more. So I just sat out here on my deck and it was relaxing. Just made for a relaxing afternoon. It's nice and cool here with a nice cool breeze. I'll give you a little, went out in the garden the other day and harvested some pumpkin. They're just sitting out here curing. And I wanted to show you what I sat on. I have quite a few of these old milk cans. And I got a tractor seat. My son's a welder, so he welded that seat on it. Now, I know y'all would paint it and do something really cute with it, but I don't have cute ideas. So, And I kind of like the old rustic look. Um, I'm surprised at how many beans I got. I won't ever do it again. But... I will in the future, and these, like I said, these were pinto beans, but in the future, I'm going to take regular green beans, like I think it's the Blue Lake bush beans, and I will save some for future gardens. But now we've got probably at least two meals here. All right, y'all. See you later.